Well, this is my car. This is my Isuzu pickup that I love and use on a daily basis. It's, uh, it's done me fantastic service over a period of uh, a year and a half. Done 23,000 miles now, no problems. Gone pretty much everywhere. Come on, Sass, get in, up. Dog lives on the back seat. Um, as you can see, for me, it's a proper working truck. Gets well used at the moment. The rifle's in the back, disassembled, so it's safe. Goodrich All Terrains, best tire I know. These vehicles, when equipped with those tires, will take you just about anywhere and bring you back again. But today, Isuzu have brought me one of the new D Maxes to have a look at. Now, this is the vehicle I'm going to be getting soon. I'm very excited. It looks lovely, nice and clean and simple. Like the rest of them, you know, good and solid. Just like with the other, lots of room in the back seat so you can actually genuinely put five people in it. I think that's key. I think it's a little bit more aerodynamic. I think it looks fantastic. I'm excited about having one. As someone who uses these cars, I wanna see how it performs and I wanna see what the engine's like. And that to me is what matters because this is a great car. I'm hearing this one's even greater. Let's find out. Now, I'd probably look at a car, a vehicle like this in a different light to most people because I use it to probably 90% of its abilities on a weekly basis. Whereas I would think that most people use a vehicle like this to about 30% of its abilities. Um, it's people like me, gamekeepers and farmers who really use them. It's, it's such a nice car to drive. Because it, it does feel like a car. Also, you're nice and high up. It, the seats are very solidly comfortable. And you do feel like, you're safe, you know? Yeah. Good brakes. Let's try that again. Very good. Important round here. <laughs> One of the things I like about the Isuzu too is that the, uh, the manual gearbox is very smooth. It's got a really nice gear change. It's positive, but it's very, very smooth. Okay, here we go. We're now off the road. Very, very smooth, this car off-road. Um, I'm in an automatic version at the moment, but it's just burbling along, which is what we like. I tend to go at about mm, 10 to 12 miles an hour when I'm doing this, and that's slow enough to avoid things, but it's fast enough to have some momentum if you need to get out of problems. Just cruise along. I mean, I probably do six or 7,000 miles a year, literally off the road, and it's not gung-ho, you know? We don't, I don't try to go into situations where it's really bad or we're gonna get stuck. I think the key is to try and avoid that and drive sensibly. And this seems to be coping very well so far. We've just gone around a seriously muddy bit of ground. And here we go, it's gonna get a bit bumpy now. Oh. <laughs> but very good suspension, slightly harder suspension than the last model, which I think is a good thing. Just gonna turn it round now. Go. It's also got a very tight steering lock, which for such a long vehicle is a very useful thing when we're off, literally off the road. It helps us out a lot. Okay, so we've got a little Ford to go through now. I've got a little bit of water. It's only a foot deep, it's nothing for one of these. I'm just going to get it muddy. There we go. Oh, it's a bit more than a foot deep, but that's not a problem. There we are, perfect. And we're gonna go and have a little drive around one of the uh, pieces of ground that I manage the deer on. Probably not to actually go out and stalk a deer, but just to have a little look around. It's a beautiful afternoon, cold, windy. It's been raining for three days, so the ground's very wet underfoot. Well, driven it for the first time. Um, really nice to drive, lovely. Just, just what I'd expect from one of these cars. A um, little bit more grunt. Very, very smooth on the steering. Goes around corners really, really well. Uh, if anything, a little bit tighter than the last one I had, so that's great. Um, really good driving position. Very upright, very, very comfortable. You can see you could go a long way in this car. With the suspension, I noticed that it was, uh, it was a bit firmer. Um, one of the uh, traits of the previous models I've had is that uh, they, they can get a little bit bouncy when you're off-road. Uh, if you're going anything above a very low speed, this one feels a bit tighter, a bit harder. 
and to me that's that's a really good thing. So you've now got um, radio and everything adjustment on there. It's nice. It's really nice. I like it. You've actually just inadvertently put a, 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 a holder there that is exactly the shape of a pair of binoculars. <laughs> See that? Look. There you go. Real joy to drive. I mean, you can do thousands of miles in this and not really feel like you're in an off-roader. Fantastic.